Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how we can set up uh, assignments on Schoology so that students can see when they have overdue work. I'm going to explain how to do that and also how to not accidentally make it so it appears that they have overdue work when really they've done what they're meant to do. So you're probably familiar already on Schoology about the upcoming work list. Students can see what work they have coming up in the future. But what you might not be aware of is that when you're logged in as a student, you can also see a list of overdue work as I've got here. You can see this student, my test account, has many, many items of overdue work going right back to the end of last year. Uh, so this is really helpful uh, for seeing, for keeping track of overdue assignments. It's really helpful for parents as well. But as you can imagine, it's also really frustrating if there are items on this overdue list that are actually mistakes where the student wasn't required to submit something or where they did it on paper and, and that's not noted on Schoology. The worst one I've seen was a reminder to bring an excursion form um, and months after the excursion it was showing up as overdue even though they had brought their excursion form for the excursion. So we need to be really careful uh, that we set it up correctly. So I'm going to flip over now to a teacher account and I've started creating an assignment here and I'm going to quickly go through the settings that you need to um, think about when you're setting up assignments so that they will uh, show up correctly. So put in a name as usual, put in some a description for the task. All the settings we care about are down here. And as usual, we'll work from top to bottom. So there are three conditions uh, that need to be met in order for an assignment to show up as overdue. It needs to have a due date, so this Friday, for example. It needs to have a grading category. Here I've got options for classwork, graded assessments, and online lessons, or I can create a new one like homework. Uh, so I'll set this one as classwork. And the next thing down is, oh, and the scale rubric doesn't matter, but if it has a category, then it will have some kind of scale. Like I usually do things scored out of one, uh, but that's irrelevant. So due date, it has a grading category. And the third thing is, this box down here, Submissions Enabled. So what this all adds up to is Schoology knows when it's meant to be submitted by. It knows that, knows that this is some kind of graded task. For me, it's just out of one. It's just a check off. Have they done it? And Schoology is expecting an assignment to be submitted on Schoology. And when those three conditions are met, Schoology will, uh, if it hasn't received an assignment by the due date, then it will add that assignment to the overdue list, which is really helpful for students and for parents for keeping track of things that are overdue. But we run into trouble when we do things like we say um, complete the maths test. The student completes the maths test in hard copy. They don't submit anything, and so now Schoology is falsely showing that this is overdue. So. To fix that, we would simply have to really think about these three conditions and think about which ones are not relevant. For the case of the maths test, we might say, well, it does have a due date. Uh, it is graded, so I'm actually going to set that as a graded assessment. But it's not being submitted online, so I need to switch that off. It's not submitted online, so don't allow Schoology to expect a submission. Alternatively, you might say uh, you might also say, well, actually, this isn't a graded assessment. I'm going to set it as ungraded. I don't want it to be in my grade book, which Schoology has a built-in grade book, um, and so I'll take it off that way. You might say, well, I want them to have the option, probably not for a maths test, but you might say, well, I want them to have the option of submitting something on Schoology or not, uh, but the category will be ungraded, and that will, again, mean it doesn't show up as overdue. Uh, the last thing to note is if I did have something set up like this, it has a due date, it has classwork, and it is expecting a submission, I might give students the option still to submit hard copy or not. As soon as I go in and grade something, in this case out of one, it will stop showing up as overdue. So I could just be really diligent. I could say, okay, guys, we'll hand in um, either on Schoology or in hard copy that paragraph response that you're writing for today's class and as long as I go in straight away and grade them as a one as soon as I've received the submission it will stop showing up. So that's another way around it. But the main idea I wanted to convey was there are three conditions that you should be 
deliberately thinking through whenever you create an assignment. I hope that's helpful uh, so that we can get this functionality working and working accurately. Thank you.